Eat up, love. I'm not hungry. How's that supposed to help? I told you, messing about with charity, we're asking for trouble. Aye, never returned to the scene at crime. What exactly did happen last night? Is it true? Chris has taken her back? I am talking to you. Well, you just have to accept what's done is done. Yeah, says he. Oh, it speaks. You better not be planning out daft. It is Debbie you've got to think about now. You can't hurt a tape without hurting a dingle. Morning. You planning on murdering someone today, or is it safe to put this back in its resting place? Last night. Got a bit out of hand. Just a bit. Chris, um... I'm off to fetch Debbie, if that's all right. I can't believe you're taking her back after what she's done. I suppose you'd have just let her walk away. I'd have given her a slap first. What, with a claim on my estate? No way am I going to let that happen. So what are you going to do? Don't know. Yet. Your mum phoned. <laughs> She's worried about you. A girl belongs with her mum. Is that what you think? Dad, I am talking to you. Do you want me back at mum's? Why not? You've done enough damage here. Oh, yeah, and who are you, Mr Perfect? Can't you ever keep your gob shut? You think you're the only one that's suffering? Debbie's the real victim in all of this! I warned you this had happened. And why do you think I ended it, eh? Should never have started in the first place. You want to start learning how to be a mother because I think you're rapidly running out of chances. Come on, love, let's get you back home, yeah? Some old. Look, it's going to be OK from now on, I promise you. Why, is that what Chris reckons? Yes! Yeah, I know, he's angry, of course he's angry. I've made a foolish mistake. I've hurt two people I really love. It's not too late to make amends, is it? Why does Chris want you back? Look, you need somebody like Chris. Somebody who genuinely cares for you. Someone who's going to try and make you happy. I want what's best for you. Lisa, thanks for looking after her. She's family. I thought Charity were going to put her first. Mm. She will from now on. I'll make sure of it. If there's anything I can do... Excuse me. When you finish nattering, Bob Hope, I want to see him. Mr Hope's on holiday. What? He's due back on Monday. I've got to hang around till Monday. What the hell am I going to do till then? <laughs> Charming. Oh, I hope for Debbie's sake that Chris and Charity can sort out their differences. <sighs> With Kane in the mood he's in at the moment, I won't put money on it. To be honest... Anything could happen. Bye, lovey. Bye. That's right, Kane Dingle. Never mind what he's done. You just make sure you know what you're doing. We're back. Ah, Madonna and Child. How touching. Let's hear it, then. What? Whatever wisecrack you've dreamt up on the way over here. Oh, look, none of this is her fault, Chris. I'm fully aware who's at fault. Look, Debbie, take this upstairs. Go and get changed, eh? Right. 
Can we talk now, please? Must we? You have every right to be angry with me. I deserve it. I can't excuse what I did. Don't even make sense. I hate Kane. You are the only bloke who has ever really mattered to me. It's true, Chris. And I will do whatever to put things right. I will suffer whatever humiliation you want to throw at me. Does the world need another man? I will. I'll do it. Just as long as it's not too late to start again. Go on. Talk. What do you want to know? Everything that happened with you and Dingle. Dates, places, all the gory detail. Tell him. What? He's nicked me bed. Ken. Uh, Ken! Ken, don't be like this. We're family. You. Him. Sam the village idiot. What kind of stock is that to breed from? No wonder Charity blew me out. If I had Tate's millions, it'd be a different story. We weren't right together. You never have been. You know now about me and her. Who we really are, what we had together. You had Debbie. And that's all that matters now. I need a drink. Ken! Come on. Sam! Pear Tree Cottage. Right in the middle of the village. I know. Chris, I know. I suppose it was more comfortable than the stables. I am so sorry. And I know that must sound really feeble. If I could turn back the clock, I would. Still, at least now you know the truth. A very small comfort. What about you, though? Sorry? Oh, come on, Chris. The stuff you've been keeping from me, I'm not stupid. You've been giving me the silent treatment for months. There must have been a reason. I don't need to tell you anything. I'm not the one in the wrong right, here. Right, fine. Well, I'm just trying to get things back to where we were before Kane came along. What, like me paying your bills? You refusing to love me? I did love you. I do love you. You know that. I told you that when Debbie moved in. As opportune a moment as ever, I suppose. Chris, listen to me. I love you more than ever. And I want to prove it to you. You must want the same, otherwise you wouldn't have taken me back. You think it's that simple? There's still hope for us, though, isn't there? All these sordid confessions. They've given me an appetite. Anyone calls, I'll be at the wool pack. No, Chris, what if Kane's there? It's a free world. Well, can I come with you? Like I said, it's a free world. I can't speak to girls. It's only for one night, love. You are yeah, coming with me, aren't you, though? Lisa? Look after him, won't you? Where are you going now? He wants trouble. Fine. This is long overdue. Hurting Chris won't change anything. I'm not going to hurt him. I'm going to kill him. Don't be stupid. You're going to end up in prison. Do I look like a cur? Hit and run. You wouldn't have arranged something like that, Chris, would you? Of course not. Are you sure? I just said so. Just seems a bit of a coincidence, that's all I'm saying. What's a coincidence? Your uncle Shadrach's been involved in a road accident. What? I'm sure he'll be all right, Debbie. I'm sure he will. Well, if he isn't, it's no great loss, is it? Why not? What? Well, you should have been to me. How are you going to explain all this to Debbie? She's better off without me. Oh, no one's arguing with that. Who chose you as a dad? <laughs> well, come to think of it, well, who has ever chosen you for anything? I don't blame you. Shut for up! Her. I don't! Your mum, she deserted you. Shadrach made your life a misery. And your real dad, well, he doesn't have any time for you. And every woman that you've ever fallen in love with has just ended up being sick of the sight of you. But, but just open your eyes. There is one little girl who will love you unconditionally. Yeah, more fool her. Well, more fool you if you don't see what this is going to do to her. You of all people, you know what it's like to be abandoned. You can't love someone without feeling their pain. Hasn't she suffered enough? He tried to kill me. Yeah, well, no one is dead yet. 
But there will be, if you don't put a stop to all of this nonsense.